Hey guys, oh I have to put this over in the back, that's better. Hey guys, it's me Amalia. I am the doctor who needs and this is number five of my making podcast. Hope you enjoy. seen you for two months probably I went on vacation and took a knitting break as most of us do in summer <laughs> most of us who live on this uh, on hot climates I don't think it's very easy to knit through uh, July and winter, winter when you live um, where I live and for those of you who are new I live um, in Greece on an island called Crete, it's at the south part of Greece and um, summer here is super hot, it's still super hot it's around 28 um, degrees Celsius outside uh, and it will be hot probably through um, all winter I don't know, we will see today it's super windy and the wind is uh, it's coming from Africa so when the wind comes from Africa, it's hot and very uh, like like sticky, boily wind. It's not the breezy wind. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> okay. Um, so today uh, I want to say no, no, no. Before I start, if you are new, welcome. If you are uh, old, that's only my fifth episode. Welcome back. Uh, probably you will see my dog at the back. Her name is Sarah, and I live with her and my partner. Our roommate moved out um, two weeks ago, and that's sad. And this, this was his room, and I took it, and I made it a bigger <laughs> space for my making and studying, of course. Um, but it's still not finished. Uh, when I it's finished, maybe I will show it to you on a on another video. So let's start with my finished objects. First up, it's what I'm wearing, and this is my first test knit ever. I did it. I finished on time, and this is called the Willa Tea from uh, this bird knits Annie has. Let me stand up to show you. This I made using my uh, own uh, yarn in on a linen on a cotton linen plant, and uh, it's super exciting because it's the first time I'm knitting a garment using my yarn, and it's magical because you just see what you created um, turned into a, a garment you can wear, and I can also test it. Like I've washed this yarn uh, 500 times and it doesn't bleed, which is good to know that I've done a, a decent job making it. Um, this is a very fun, easy uh, pattern. It has the ranunculus vibes, so it's super easy. You just knit in the round, the neck, and then you it has a simple lace band and then you split up for the sleeves and it's straight down so it's super uh, easy it will fit everyone it's baggy it's cool it's super light for summer i love it <laughs> i love it. i don't have anything else to say about it i would need it again for sure uh probably smaller <laughs> i always do that <laughs> that mistake next up, I finished a pair of socks. Look, that's pretty, right? Those are The Longing for Gotland by Sophia Kameborn. And I used my own um, hand-dyed yarn. 
on this khaki green, mother root red, and the speckled flower petal color. The problem I had, I love this um, sock blocker. The problem I had with this pattern is I don't know how to carry the the strand of yarn uh, up the rows. So if you see on that side, you can see this awful line which I don't care about, but I would like to know how to uh, fix it for next time. Uh, so, keep in mind I'm knitting those two at a time using circular, circular needles. So when I have to do stripes every four or five rows, I have to carry four balls of yarn with me and try not to twist them, which is, it's, it's not possible, it really is not possible to do that. Uh, so while I was trying to do my best, I failed miserably and I got bored after these rows and then I just stopped and did my thing. It's fine, they look great. I, but let me know in the comments down below if you know how to carry yarn when you have to knit stripes every four or five rows. Because I know how to do it if it's if I change yarn every row, that's easier. You just twist and then continue. But if it's every four rows, how the how 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 I don't know how I don't know. But it's fine, but I don't want to do stripes again. Uh, I left one sock unblocked because I wanted to show you the difference between the the how is this called the color work uh, on this side which is blocked and on that side which is all scrunched up. So I think that's why you probably need to block everything you <laughs> need. <laughs> Uh, you using um, color work because it looks so much nicer. Look at those flowers. I like it. I like it. Oh, it got blurry. Am I back? Yep. Whoop. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes, I used two point two point two five millimeter needles for those. They smell great. I love them. And now let's go to the most exciting thing ever. My uh, Find Your Fade Soul by Andrea Mari. I'm not good with big souls. I get bored. But this was fun because it was the only thing I was working on during the summer. I took it on the beach with me. Uh, and it's you don't need to read the pattern. It has a lace, super easy lace section and just stuck in it. So let's grab it. Keep in mind it doesn't fit uh, <laughs> through the needles. Wow. It's huge. I love it. I will try to show to you, to show you the whole thing. Can you see it? <laughs> I don't know if you can. Oh, let's not put fire on it. There it is. It's huge. So, I started off with this pretty gray, pink, something colorway from Olan Mills called Brackish. Then, I went on with that very pretty, um, some. I don't know how to describe this color. White based speckly yarn from Sokuna Troca called Last Minute. Then it goes pink, watermelon y pink. And this is the Pink Studies from uh, Sokuna Troca 2. And then Lastly, I will uh, put this skein with after the pink 
which is called Be Strong by Sokuna Troka. Cool, right? It's pretty. And I also like how the, um, the red will, all, will meet again with this gray. I like it. The, those, those colors are, are out of my comfort zone. Um, and that's always exciting. So yeah, it's super, super huge. I will probably have that done until next time I see you. Oh my god, something moved. Sorry, something moved on my bookshelf. I almost had a heart attack. Okay, it's nothing. I'm fine. So, for my shop news. I started dyeing yarn again after uh, my lazy months of uh, July and August, mostly August, and I'm having success. I I have chosen to dye only to only naturally dye yarn using plants uh, that are that grow mostly near me, and the yarn I'm dyeing is a sustainable 100% merino wool, or a uh, hundred percent uh, superwash merino. I'm not using any um, nylon um, on my yarn, and that's uh, my preference. It, I don't have uh, anything against people that use nylon, but I am trying to um, cut on the use of plastic. So every um, every package I I sent you. Uh, with my yarn, just you have to know that it's either uh, reused plastic that I've gotten from another uh, person's package, or it's paper, or something re re recyclable, 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 recyclable. That. Okay. So, Stephen West uh, has released his. Uh, make along for uh, 2020 and it's called the Sleep Stravaganza which is an awesome name of course he always names his souls crazy names and I'm participating so I thought it's a perfect uh, opportunity to knit using my yarn because uh, when you are a new dyer you only have two hands and I'm not a great sock knitter because I'm not yet, so I cannot just whip up a sock in, on a weekend or something. So I I haven't seen the colors that I'm making get knit up as I wanted to see them. Do I make any sense? I, I don't have all the time in the world to just knit every color way I'm making. That's what I, what that's what I want I want to see. So I thought that the, this um, knit along is perfect because it uses uh, four different uh, colorways, and uh, he he proposes to use two uh, same colors as a base, and then three uh, contrasting colors for that too. So I've made up some kits. Uh, when I say some, it's only three kits. And you can see them on my shop. Uh, the link is down below. But I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you the one I haven't listed yet, but I will list today. So those are the base uh, colors, and this is my colorway called Aspasia, which is the name of my mother, and her her favorite color is uh, purple. I hope you can see. It's a purple base with a dark blue and purple and yellow speckles. I have it also open. This is my 100% sustainable merino wool. When you get uh, my yarn, you will probably find inside uh, some um, wood chips or other natural stuff, nothing gross, but um, I cannot get everything out because the, the things I'm using are uh, not 
pigments they are the real like flower petal or or the real um, onion skin so they get stuck on yarn but when you wind up your ball with the ball winder everything gets out so it, it's not uh, hard it's super easy and some of you maybe won't find anything on it but one or two of you maybe uh, find some wood chips so I paired those uh, purples as a base with um, a light uh, green one dead green I don't know the name of this colorway I'm just playing around with colors this very deep uh, purple blue purple blue purple blue purple and a, a very light based uh, speckly yarn what do you think? I think that's cool I love it look all of them are naturally dyed I like this uh, combination very much and if you see those are both spec speckly but I think they will contrast uh, very well one another so this is one option then I have another option using my favorite base which is this one and it's my Irini uh, base, my Irini colorway after my named after my uh, aunt there you go and this I paired with another green a very dark gray which I uh, washed with this just to see if it bleeds and it doesn't and I paired a pink with that a pink, a blush blush thing Ugh, sorry I'm trying to hold them on that's perfect yeah and lastly I've paired a funky and more like bright option for the uh, most adventurous people with a watermelon pink and some yellow that's fun right <laughs> okay so I have all of them on uh, on my on my Etsy shop. Um, I will try to list also the colorways separately. But if you see any of them that you like and you don't see uh, listed separately, you can just text me and I can uh, give them to you. So I have more yarn to show you. I was super super happy to create a mint green color with dark uh, speckles not that one where is the other one wait, wait 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 okay it's this one oh look at this can you see it it's a uh, greenish uh, the camera doesn't pick up that color very uh, good, but it's mint, the base is mint green, and the speckles are very dark purple speckles. I have two skeins on um, fingering weight yarn and two skeins on decay. That's fun. Look at that. That's fun. That is so much fun. I named this... Uh, colorway uh, muhla which in Greek means mold because it reminds me of uh, bacteria cultures that's not nice to say for a colorway but for me it's nice, I don't know <laughs> let me know, maybe I should change that idea whatever <laughs> okay so last speckled one is this one which is only on DK. Uh, I used the speckles from uh, Aspasia colorway 
but on a, a gray, on a base base. And I have three skeins of this on the cane. That's pretty. Keep in mind, nature does these colors. That's that's very nice. Okay, and next up, I have some more hair for you. Okay. I have gray yarn with paired up with gray more hair. Pretty nice, right? I have this amazing blush pink paired up with blush more hair. This is a classic espastico uh, colorway, I think. It's so nice. And look at them together. I also have some <laughs> some uh, green, khaki green, and lastly some true purple. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, that's also nice. Oh, not lastly. Sorry, I also have a, a yellow one. Where is it? that one look at that that's butter that's that that's the color of butter so nice and these um colorways together with the with the mohair okay my camera cut off i think i, I sewed all the mohair colors and then i was showing this pink i'm not good with pink but i like this pink this is like a very true a uh, baby pink color that looks good with everything like let's check it with this that's awesome or with this I can just do that all day just pick up yarn and stack it together and see how well it looks but it looks so good look even pink nature's pink that's nice right okay that's a lot of yarn and I think I'm done <laughs> sewing it uh, what else do I want to share with you oh I bought I bought this masterpiece I have to show it to you because I, I don't even know what plant this is I will check it out because yesterday when I went and got it it had just arrived at the uh, plant shop so they didn't know what the name was but look you can see it. <laughs> this this looks exactly right on camera it's like a dracaena plant kind of a dracaena plant with fuchsia leaves come on that's amazing i haven't found um a pot for this uh, yet but I will and it has many um, individual like barks inside barks not barks what's what it's called the the down thing from the tree I have no idea it's, that's fine that's fine yes so I love it if I find the name of this thing I will uh, link it down below okay guys that's it for me thanks so much for watching please check out my shop uh, all the details will be down below and i will see you next time bye